That was serious. Great, great Friday to you all. Out here rocking with my with my samurai cat, you already know. Uh, warrior style, warrior life all day, every day, you know, Spartan type shit. It's a great day. It's a great, great day to be alive. Why? Yo, because any day six feet above ground, any day that you're able to breathe the breath of life into your lung, it's a great This is why we should never pity ourselves nor complain about circumstances. The best thing that one can do is embrace the suck with gratitude, enthusiasm, and a great attitude. You know what I'm saying? Mindset is everything, family. Mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. Yo, check it. It's been a great day. Slept in. Woke up. It was snowing heavy. When I finally decided to get out of bed, I went straight into my workout. You know what I'm saying? Banged out like, I don't know, 60 squats? 30? 30? I did like 30 squats, 30 push, 30 finger, fingertip push-ups. Brought myself to the living room, banged out 20 pull-ups. You know what I'm saying? Did, went through my numbers. Went through my number. Was able to bang out my 500 in the morning. And um, thankfully, I was a, had the, the energy. Well, I didn't really have the energy, but I really did have the drive to get something done in the evening. So between 9 and 10, all I did was uh, work out. Y'all can see some of the, the videos I put up. But it's a great day. Today's reading was uh, Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. Um, you know, I suggest I suggest to all, just like I, su I suggested to my nephews a few days ago, or yesterday really, when I was over there, try to get through 10 pages a day. Try to get through to through ten pages minimum a day, and yo check it. That's three hundred pages a, a week, or a month, or over three hundred pages a month. You know, if you decide to go over, um, that's about a book to two books per month that you could be reading easily. You know what I'm saying? Put your phone down, um, put some tunes on if you need to, or just stand up and walk around with a book, and just just read. You know, 10 pages, that's all it is. 10 individual pages, not one, two, uh, front and back, one, two. No, each, you know, individual, one, two, three, four. You know, get yourself through 10 easy pages daily, and you'll be surprised. Like I said, since the year began, I, I was able to finish one book before the year ended. I'm like halfway through this one. Mind you, I had already started reading. Tomorrow, we're going back to... The Infinite Mindset, or was it this one that we read today? Yeah, we read The Infinite Mindset today. We're almost actually, we, we're actually almost done with this book. We have, wow, wow. Would you look at that? We only have 40 about 60 pages in this book so we have like maybe two more days of reading and or three more days of reading and we're done with a, it's another book you know what I'm saying yo knowledge is not power knowledge is only potential power when we learn to use the knowledge that we acquire that is where true power lies because now we're able to put into action what we're learning another book that we read today was you know the one we're gonna be reading for the next five to seven years. Um, it takes a business about two to three years. Once a business gets through the, through the first two or three years, um, it has a better chance of surviving. You know, most businesses, I think the, 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 the statistics is like 70 or 
or 80% of businesses go out of business within the first three to five years. So I spent five years in the Marine Corps. I didn't go out of business, you know? I didn't kill myself or quit or died in combat or anything. Thanks to the most high. Um, but yeah, so we gave ourselves that goal. Tomorrow is Saturn's day, Saturday, the sixth day of the week, the superior man's day, that day of suffering and pure gain. So you already know what's going on our back and what we're going to be doing for about three, three plus hours. Um, so yeah, let's get into today's talk. Um, I'm going to start by, with a quote by our guy, the master of suck. Mr. David Goggin, you know, he said, we're either getting better or we're getting worse in life. We're either getting better or we're getting worse. And that is truth to the fullest extent in life. We are either getting better or we're getting worse. And it all depends on, on our level of discipline, the level of perseverance with which we back up that discipline, meaning the level of consistency and persistence that we put behind that uh, discipline that we continue to seek to embody and to allow it to guide our life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is also de determined by the level of tenacity, i.e. the amount of courage and confidence that we're willing to put into our days, into our actions, into ourselves, you know, which is backed up by our belief in ourselves. You know what I'm saying? What we think, how our mindset is functioning. You get what I'm saying? If Are we walking with faith? Or we walk in with doubt, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to determine our belief, you know, faith or doubt, you know what I'm saying? Confidence or cowardice or fear. So we're either leading with love or we're leaving with, we're leading with fear, which is forgetful. You get what I'm saying? Which all falls under our desires, man. What is feeding your desires? What is feeding your vision? What is feeding your purpose? What is feeding where it is that you want to go in life you know what are those things that you that from the core of your being you can sense that it's just like calling out to you what is it what is that drive what is that that dream what is that imagination that imagining that keeps you know waking you up in the middle of the night and and it has you asking like yo why why do i want this what is it that i want how is it that i'm gonna get it when am i even gonna get this where am I going to have to go? What are the things that I'm going to have to do? Who is it going to take me becoming to be able to accomplish these things? You get what I'm saying? Whatever it is that it is. You know, you want to be the greatest baseball player, the best boxers, Muay Thai, MMA fighter, um, singer, DJ. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you're trying to put your mind to. What is it? What is that desire? You know what I'm saying? So like I said, or how our guy said, we're either getting better or we're getting worse. You know what I'm saying? Are you putting a level of practice, a level of attention, a level of love and care into the craft that you are, um, that is your craft, that is your work and that you're, you know, you're, you're, you're refining and you're seeking to make uh, an impact not only on your life, but also on your family's life through your practice, through your work, through your craft. That you're, that you're aiming to make not just an impact on your life, but on your family's life, on your friend's life, on your community's life, on the world, on the whole world stage. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, every day, are you practicing that? Because if you're not practicing your craft, you're practicing something that is counterintuitive to your craft. You know, um, I still struggle with getting up early every day. Um, I only wake up around 5 36 in the morning ever in spring and summer if it's hot outside i naturally wake up on time or at the time right but in the winter i'm waking up around seven if the, if it's sunny outside and i see that i'm gonna be able to sun gaze yo i'll open my window and i'll just lay there till the sun comes up but if it's not sunny outside if it's cloudy i take my ass right back the fuck to sleep i'll sleep till like eight most of the time or 9, 10. And then I wake up and I go through my routine. I don't I don't just like 
oh, I woke up late. I didn't wake up when I wanted to. Nah, man. You know what I do? I go right into my rituals, into my routine. What is it? Am I going to meditate? Am I going to sit up and, and do my breathing exercises in bed? Am I going to stretch a little bit? Or am I going to go straight into my workout? And for the last seven, ten days, for the last ten days, I've been going straight into my workout after I'm done with my workout. I go into my breathing exercises. I sit down and I read, you know, for about, I read those 10 pages. I'm not going to tell you how long it takes me, but I read my 10 pages, my 15 pages, my 20 pages, whatever it is to get through where I think I need to get through to be able to, you know, go about my business. You know, I, I do my journal. I do my reading. So go through the rituals, whatever your ritual is, whatever time it is that you wake up, go through it. Don't take nothing personal, man. Yo, know, you got people like, like, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he said he wakes up like around seven or eight, right? That's one of the things that, that are put out there. You got other people, uh, the Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson wakes up at 4 a.m. to do his workout and all that. So everybody's going to be different, man. Y your level of success is not so much determined by the, the time that you wake up, but by the rituals that you maintain, how consistent you are with those rituals, how persistent you are, how tenacious you are. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You may be waking up at at seven, eight, nine, or 10, but you might be going to sleep midnight, one, two, three. So you might not be those individuals, you might not be that person that works um, conventional hours. You might be the kind of person that works unconventional hours and you're up at odd hours during the day, uh, during the night, but you're sleeping throughout your day. So you're working different than other people. So don't, don't think that just because you can't wake up at the time that you are hearing, you need to wake up to become as successful as you need. Nah, man, so long as you're practicing your rituals, so long as you're remaining consistent with the disciplines that you set forth for yourself, you're fine and dandy, baby. You don't got to believe me. You can just go study other people. Yo, check it. Uh, today, um, as it relates to some of the things that I went through uh, my day and some of the, you know, some of the things that I posted... Um, as it relates to life, as it relates to being a good individual, um, I always... I always uh, start, or at least I post, uh, I gave myself this homework to do for the next 30 days, 31 days, is to post a proverb as well as a principle and law from the principles and law, the principles of Ma'at, which, which is where from, from which the Ten Commandments comes from, and then the law or affirmations of Ma'at, which are positive affirmations that you can repeat to yourself, right? I also read, obviously, chapter uh, 7 of the book of Proverbs by Solomon, which is the book of wisdom and understanding, um, which is the book that I have given myself as homework for the next, you know, five or se seven. So for the next seven years, subconscious mind just spoke. So it's for the next seven years. Today is day seven, Proverbs 7, and it reads as such, right? Oh, wait, let's go with the principles, right? Principle 7. I tag principle 7 and 39 because there's 42 uh, laws and 42 principles. It's only 31 days, so I've been mixing them up as well. So principle 7 states, desecrate no holy place. So desecrate no holy place. And principle 39 coincidentally goes in line with that one. Defraud no offerings made to the Almighty. You get what I'm saying? So don't disrespect any holy place, anything that... You know, whether it is in the religion that you practice or anything, still respect it. Have respect because why? That is a place that other individuals have used to worship what they see as God. God is only one. You know, consciousness, the universal law of that, that one. You know, the source of all intelligence. Whether there's aliens in space and aliens came over here and did some genetic experiment on, on monkeys or old, whatever it is, whatever the story is. At the end of the day, wherever they come from, if any other, you know, there's obviously others, you know, but whatever they come from, at the end of the day, we all, the cosmos itself, is one source. It comes from one source. It's, it, it's, it's like, you know, it's like us. We go from one seed to, a, to, a, to an egg that multiplies and turns into another one. So don't desecrate any holy place and that includes your own body. That includes your own body. Respect your own body. Respect your temple. And don't defraud. No, don't defraud no offerings made to the Almighty. You hear what I'm saying? Don't, don't steal no offerings from 
holy places from burials and neither from yourself because you are the the temple like i said so that was principle right um law number seven and 39 is live in truth live in truth i right? be authentic to who you truly are be your true self not what you think other people's will approve of but who you truly are you know what i'm saying don't don't lie to yourself and don't lie to anybody else um be you and behave with humility don't be an arrogant you don't be a pride for you be a balanced you be your bet like your best you is a balanced you your best you is not trying to outdo anyone and your best you is not feeling or allowing itself to feel think or believe that it is beneath anyone so your true you is a balanced individual that is in complete harmony with nature whether you you die in the next second or you are threatened with the fear of death it's all the same to you because you understand that you are one and that in leaving this vessel you simply return to where your beliefs are based if you're living in a fearful place right now and you are filled with wrath and hate then you're you're creating a very ugly afterlife for yourself. That's how I see it. But if you're living in love and compassion and truth and authenticity and who you really are and you are being to others as you would want others to be to you and all that you want is peace, love, and harmony, then Maji, your after is potentially greater than this one that we're experiencing now. You know, so live your truth and behave with humility. You are not above or beneath anyone. We're all equal, just on different levels, baby. I, we all equal as beings. To include the animals, we're just on different levels of consciousness, of different levels of understanding, different levels of perception, and and per, and, and 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 how we, uh, you know, see life. We're just all on different levels, but we're all equal. Everybody has the same right to life. You know what I'm saying? So long as individuals ain't disrespecting uh, nature in itself, and especially the most important ones, the children, yo, everything is peachy. At the end of the day, your karma, you'll reap your karma. So, you know, that's how I translate both the principles and the law. And then we go into Proverbs, which is, I'm going to leave it to you all all right? You know what? I'm going I'm to read some of it because, yo, this, this is important. Um, it starts, I went with uh, 3, 4, 5, 7, 13, 22, and 24 of, of book of chapter 7. So let your fingers be bound by principles, i.e. by laws, by commands, by um, core values that you hold dear and write them on the tablet of your heart. Meet. Hold them dear. Hold your principles. Hold your values. Hold those commandments that you believe are important for you to maintain. Dear to you and write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister and call understanding your nearest kin. Yo, because let me tell you, to move through this life, you need a lot of patience. You need a lot of... Um, wisdom. Love. Courage, self-restraint, which equates to an insurmountable amount of willpower to be able to not only stop yourself from doing the wrong things, but also induce yourself into taking the most balanced and correct actions given the circumstances with which we are, you know, introduced or brought into into account within life you know the circumstances that that we come upon in this life given our state of mind and the knowledge that we actually have and the compassion and the love for truth that we have will di dictate greatly yo what becomes of our life man if if we if we 
you know, take a life out of wrath or, you know, lose our patience towards our, 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 our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, our nieces, our, our brothers, our friends. Yo, it will dictate the, 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 the path of, of those relationships and the path of our life in, 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 in either a, a very good direction or a very ugly and lonesome and regretful one. So, you get what I'm saying? When it says this, you know, call wisdom your sister and understanding your nearest kin. It's for a reason, man. Like, there's a, there's a lot of people right now that they're, you know, they're drug addicts. They are, they have, I, I had two personal, two very close friends, you know, only about two, two or three years after leaving the Marine Corps. One was maybe three years younger than me and the other one was three years older than me, right? He would have been 34 right now this year, right? Or 35 this year. I'll be 32, but he was three. So three years ahead of me grew up with him and the other one was three years behind me and both of them died within a year of each other and i saw both of them maybe a day or two before they died you get what i'm saying and my desire for both of these individuals was the same like oh bro i just want one day with you and, and like you know what i'm saying like one day that's i, I just need like one day and I and I and I maybe out of my own fear out of my own com uh, comfort and not wanting to feel discomfort I never sought out those those days with those individuals because it was after I became a little more conscious right and you know they went because of whatever traumas and emotional ordeals they were going through that they couldn't you know reason with and so, you know, the escapism, it got the best of them. It caught them at their weakest point. And, and yo, it's, it's crazy because one of them, I, I, walked, I, I walked into his brother's house at 7 a.m. in the morning to see him passed out, foaming at the mouth, dead in his own older brother's living room floor. So, you know, that's how crazy life is, like... You know, we, we should really, it is not a joke, man. It's not a joke when, when individuals invite you into, into knowledge that is conducive to your own personal development as a man in this life. Because it's, it's, this life is not, it's not simple for us men. I'm going to tell you right now, like, that's why we have so very few men, so very few conscious men. So very few fathers and leaders in our communities and educators and real true priests and pastors, practitioners of the law, deacons, you know what I'm saying? Like real individuals that are about the knowledge and are walking in that because they espouse principles, but they don't hold them dear to their heart and they don't really live that. It's very hard to walk the path. So, you know, it goes into, you know, after it says that, it says, it speaks of a, it speaks of, you know, wisdom and understanding in this self will keep us, because it was written by a man, it will keep us men from the immoral woman, the seductress, who flatters with her words. Yo, let me tell you, them words can be tempting. And when I speak of the word, I speak of that flesh. Because the word becomes flesh. And to us, when we see women, it's not just what comes out of their mouth, but how they look. And if they give us the attention, we're going to follow. You know what I'm saying? So it goes into that. And he saw among the simple and perceived among the youths, a young man devoid of understanding. So many of us. Two of my... One of them, one of them, the main cause of his turmoil 
was a woman. Some of us, we want to escape because of things that we have done. Some of us want to, be, want to escape because, because of our lack of un, self-knowledge and self-understanding and self-love. We want to escape because what is what is done to us by others. You know what I'm saying? And and we don't we don't know how to remove ourselves from the situation and not take things so personal. All right. Therefore, listen to reason. Hi, my brothers. Listen to reason and to principles and pay attention to wisdom. Don't ever discredit her. Don't ever expect that you are uh, you are exempt from becoming an example to others, because each and every one in this world is an example to us. From the books that we read to the music that we listen to, or the media that we consume, the people that we surround ourselves with, and the people that are you know, in our life daily or the thoughts that we entertain that will greatly dictate what becomes of us. And if our will is not strong, listen, life will just drag us and we'll do whatever it needs to do with us for us to become the example that others need of what not to do, who not to be, why not to do those things, because of where they will take us and when they will get us there. And that when is different, man. You got children dying days because they don't know. Because the parents don't know. Dying days after being born because the parents don't know. Because they lack knowledge of the paradigm that we are living today in this 21st century society. That is governed by uh, crony political structures, corporate bank ran uh, pharmaceutical and corporations, you know what I'm saying, that l buy up politicians through lobbying firms and that also recruit politicians into their systems of wicked politics. Of wicked economics You know what I'm saying Of wicked relig religiosity And then Push them back into our systems To govern us Unrighteously Without justice And with A, a, a greed and desire To just make money man It's crazy and it's not simple for so many to become victims of this system. You know, we don't know. And what we don't know, ignorance is not bliss because what we don't know can hurt us. It can cause us to make decisions that cost the life of our children. It can cause us to take things personal when we really shouldn't because shit happens to everyone. You know, it costs us to get in line to get Things shoved through our nose because the tell life vision is telling our visions what to do and we're just stepping out like a sheep or like a like an ox as it says over here as an ox goes to the slaughter immediately goes the simple man the simple young un, un understanding man to the arms of a seductress who may be married but with as it says with her kisses and impudence enticing speech they lead us with delight and and delight ourselves with and allow us to delight ourselves with love because they say our husband are at home what we don't know can hurt us family never lay with a married woman <laughs> i ain't special i did that i did that twice i was one for one i was like maybe 22 or 23 And the other one, I was like 26. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't even 27. I was like 26. 
Um, one tried to get me drunk, so I was like, it's, it's all it's all go. I'm not, you know? But again, I didn't have the understanding that I have now. The deep philosophical understanding. And the other one was separated, but still married. So still had to deal with the... <laughs> but avoid that. Avoid that. That was, for me, that was what? Almost six years ago, right? For one. The other one was eight, almost eight years ago, over eight years ago. So we grow over time. Stop smoking that hash, that 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 weed. You know, if anything, if you're still young, reduce the amount you smoke. Uh, mass d discipline yourself. The more discipline you have over weed, the more you'll learn from her. She is a reflectionary plant that should be used wisely with care and with discipline because it is easy to abuse her. It is very easy to abuse Mary Jane. I did so for almost ten years in total. You know, from sixteen to to. To 19 until I went into the military and then from once I left the military and I quit to uh, cigarettes from 24 all the way to 31 last year January uh, February 3rd last and last night that I was able that I was just I said enough like I'm done with addictions I'm done with nothing that I can't control and weed was the only thing in my life that was con completely just like in control of my discipline about 90 percent you know what I'm saying so I'm thankful to to you know to that divine intelligence that that helps me that directs me and from which I can grab power energy and and, enc and encouragement and courage and confidence that that I can do the things that that, I, that that I put my mind to and it is possible for each and every one of us because as Jesus Yeshua Yahusha however you want to say it said it yo he that believeth in me will be able to do more things and even greater things than these. Or whoever believes in what I in the in, in the kind of thing that I believe, yo, mindset, mindset. That's all Jesus came here to do was change our mindset, our perception, our understanding of consciousness, our mind. When he says the heart, that means the mind. That's the hardest thing for us humans to change is our mind. The, the, that's what they say is it's hard to treat an, to treat an old dog a new trick. It's very hard to teach an old dog a, a new trick, especially when that old dog has been being indoctrinated and um, inculcated with ideas, visions, and perceptions of life that are counterintuitive to what humans, consciousness, having this fleshly experience can actually do in this reality. And so it limits us because it, 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 it all reprograms our DNA because as a man thinketh, so is he. So what we think is what we become. And what we believe we can achieve, what we can imagine we can achieve, what is what most of the time we can also make reality, we can make real. And because everything that we see is constructions that constructions of material thing and, and of the mind, then we can create the television, we can create the te the, the, the telephone, you know what I'm saying? The tele cell phones, the cells, the little prisons in your in, in our hands, the black box, the black mirror, you know what I'm saying? These these beautiful technologies that oh not we can abuse but we can actually also use to expand our sphere of influence and also to build on our businesses in different ways and make certain things simpler so just as it has bad it also has many many good because you can reach through this little piece not just now verbally but also visually somebody you know 3000 4000 miles away around the world that's what's wonderful about the time that we're living in today. All right? Though many of us may only have or know vices and negative habits and addictions, it is no excuse for aiming to learn the virtuous. All right? So just because we have all these vices, that doesn't give us an excuse. Just because we were born around it, that doesn't give us an excuse to remain there. All right. If you truly do wish to experience the joy and beauty of the change so many of us wish for and desire in this life, we must be willing to choose differently and to do it consciously with persistence, diligence, and, you know, confidence and full faith, tenacity that the things that we're going for, the individual that we want to become, 
the things that we want in life, the whys, as for why we want those things, will become clearer. But if we remain in, in, in vice and, 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 and wickedness and, and, and depravity and just doing whatever the fuck we want, whenever the hell we want to, we will never feel how we truly want to feel, nor be what we truly can be. Because we're not actually, you know, putting nutrients into that, that soil. We're not truly giving water to that tree. And so we stop growing. We stop having the capacity to, to tr truly be a blessing to the world rather than a curse. We truly become more capable of becoming and creating miracles for others. Through the actions, through the things that we give, through the time, the focus, the energy, the attention that we provide other individuals, be it in person, on a call, through a simple text, a comment, or the message that you relay. This leads us directly into the next point, right? Because we're all energy. Energy is everything. Energy doesn't die, it simply changes. Matter simply returns to matter and becomes matter again. Or it's never stopped being matter. But energy is energy. And energy is what gives matter life. And what gives matter is direction and purpose. And through it, it has its meaning. If people you follow or associate with that don't smile, a truly genuine smile at the possibilities and potential progress of others... You're dealing with envious, hateful, and fearful energy. If you follow individuals, if you associate with individuals like that, even if they're family, reduce your your your. If it's if it is possible, if not, simply be conscious of that and. Be conscious of how you allow your energy to react around individuals like that because you don't want to fall into that way. You want to be not just the opposite, but do it in such a way that it's, it is able to truly shift that other individual's perception of things. Even if you say nothing about it, but simply the way that you go about it. Or if you can't say something, say something about it. Or you can say things indirectly, but in such a way that if you truly care about those individuals, then you can seek to shift their energy through shifting your own reception and shifting your way of communication. So rather than encouraging those kind of actions, you don't not only... Uh, Shift it to a different, but at the same time, while shifting, you discourage the other by not sim by simply avoiding those energies. You get what I'm saying? And I hope you understand that. Because me personally, <laughs> when I see other people's success, I, I I get like this. Like I just smiled right now, just thinking about it, right? Because I'm like, yo, my boy winning. You get what I'm saying? That's how I get. Me personally, I, 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 I feel how that person likely feel when the idea came like, oh, I'm winning type or I'm going to get this deal or yeah, I got this fight coming up. I'm excited about the outcome. That first initial thought of success is what we should attach ourselves to, grab it and nurture it rather than floating around through space and not, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I, I, I like encouraging that energy, obviously, to each their own. But uh, I believe that if we can truly change ourselves into the individual that we would like or that we like imagine, we would want around in our presence, encouraging us and motivating us. Like, if we can become that, We'll become that for others by becoming it for ourselves. 
but we actually end up creating what we truly want to see. Make sense? Um, this doesn't mean be naive. All right. But, you know, cheer. Cheer someone else's success, just as you would want somebody else to cheer your own. That's all it is. Love is, love is only wasted when you don't express it. Enthusiasm is only wasting when you don't express it. You don't have to be loud about it. A simple smile. You don't even got to say nothing to the individuals. A simple smile to yourself. You're like, I'm on a good path. And I'm going to make it. I'm going to remain consistent. I'm going to keep doing the things that I need to do. All right? We don't get to choose the family that we're born to. You know, whether poverty stricken unloving and abusive or prosperous in love and material richness we never we don't get to choose the family we are go born into and we don't get to choose a lot of the things that happen happen to us but we can choose how we perceive and how we you know take on those things that happen to us and in so doing, we can choose what becomes of our life. We have a great, great control over what becomes of our life. We have full control over the life that we create. The life we lead, we lead and the life we live. The, the impact we have on friends, family, community, all of that. All of that, we, we, we do have the ability to choose. All right? Because the body leaves, but what remains behind is what is what our being cultivated during the life, right? The memories that it created, the people that it touched, the people that it influenced, the people that it was able to help, the lives it was able to change. Like, those are the things. Our belief and the consciousness that we manifest to embody this individual, basically the character, the character that we create in this life. You know what I'm saying? The avatar, the, the, <laughs> the program that is the guiding fabric of our life. The personality that is attached to that character, you know, the attitude, the charisma, the honesty, the just, the judgmental um, conscious, the just conscious, you know what I'm saying? The discipline, the integrity, the decisiveness, the enthusiasm, the bearing, the knowledge, the wisdom, yo. The legacy that you are able to create by the being that you're able to become in life simply by being true to who you truly are, being your true authentic self, aiming to get better every day. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not so much as asking of the universe, but really thanking the universe for the opportunity to live this life and to have an equal chance just as everybody else. Whether you are born into poverty or into riches, into abuse or into love. To have the... the the honor. You hear what I'm saying? To have the honor. To really go out and live our life and leave the legacy. That we choose to leave. Whether we choose to leave nightmares, nothingness, or dreams. Bro, that's, 
that's awesome you know and once once that last breath leaves our body that's all that remains once we gone like Steve Matt I, I forget the name of this one guy but he, he made a perfect analogy he was like we're living in someone else's dream and for many is their nightmare but at the same time as I'm saying right now we have the we all have the equal opportunity and capacity to create our own dream our own dreams for others to live in obviously you know there are some that are cynical I don't know why they're gonna try to create nightmares for other like I said lack of wisdom and understanding but we can create dreams like you know it made he made the analogy of like you know when when Obama became president he was living in the dream of Martin Luther King you know what I'm saying and and like like many of us in the United States of you know America we're living in the in the dream of 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 Thomas Jefferson of Francis Bacon of of you know Washington Adams you know what I'm saying father and son in the in, in the dream of, of 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 Lincoln John F Kennedy like we're living in the dream of many people I'm dreaming in the in, in the dream where where Joan Sosa do entiende Mr Organic <laughs> the organic alchemist super conscious thoughts you know Sosa I don't know those some some wow amazing dope dopeness you know able to impact as many people as he was born based on his upbringing and circumstances that brought that individual to become the individual that he became is able to have you want to play baseball you want to hit home runs you want to play basketball you want to shoot a football but that's at the same time you want to build businesses you want to build charitable uh, institutions you want to build orphanages you want to create schools you want to create different opportunities for different for for, for 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 many people all over the world you you know you want to have farms you want to grow organic real food non genetically modified that you know slowly degenerates our insides and hurts our biology to, to, to you know to its genetic level you want to create you, you you know you want to create dope ass restaurants businesses you know metaverse whatever it is nfts blockchain you want to be a millionaire entrepreneur billionaire entrepreneur you know travel the world helping individuals you, you, you want to live in a cottage on the side of a mountain you want to create wealth you want to have children one wife multiple wives one kid adopt many you know and each and every one of us is free to do all those things all we gotta do is choose and you know go towards that desire with belief and faith confidence with courage tenacity Persevere even if it gets rainy, even if it gets snowy, even if it gets too hot, we got where we run out of water, we gotta continue to walk, we gotta continue to persevere with discipline. Yo, anything is possible, family. Life is but a movie and you're the main character in it. How much gratitude do you have in your heart to mold and develop that positive attitude? That enduring attitude, that tenacious attitude, that true attitude, that authentic attitude that builds up and gives rise to this, you know, great character, this great individual that creates a legacy because of the core values 
the fundamental principles and the pure desires, you know, allow it to persist forever in eternity and time to influence and impact millions and billions of lives. There are individuals like that that have come before us and there will be individuals in this era that will continue after us and after even themselves are gone. And each and every one of us has the chance to become either that or nothing. Choose. We choose. What are the actions that you are doing daily? You making your bed? You brushing your teeth? Your tongue? The roof of your mouth? You wiping your ass right? You flushing the toilet when you need to? You showering? You taking some cold showers in the morning or you avoiding them comfort? You're not brushing your teeth because you don't feel comfortable? You don't want to do it right now? You're not going to flush the toilet? You're going to live it full of doo-doo? <laughs> you waking up with a soda? You waking up with a glass of water? You're eating a bagel? Or you're eating an apple or a banana? You're waking up with bacon, egg, and cheese? Because that's colon cancer, my G. So, yo... We all choose. We all get to decide the kind of life we lead, the kind of life we live. And we have full control over how that impacts others. Our nieces, our nephews, our daughters, sons, wives, sisters, sister wives, mother, society, father if you have one. But he's a man just like you, so he's got his own mind. So that's a lot of control over his own mind. Everybody else too, but you know what you do, bro. Stop taking things personal. Choose better. Gratitude. Gratitude. As we said in the beginning, are we are we getting better or are we getting worse? I. Don't be quitting on yourself. You're just going to wake up in maybe a worse situation than you woke up on this one. All right? You're only making things worse for everybody else as well. That depends on you. Do your best. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't be scared to think big, though. Check out that book, think, uh, uh, The Magic of Thinking Big. But other than that, it's been real. I have a great rest of your Friday, an even greater Saturday, Saturday, and the rest of your year, and you know, of your life as a whole, man. This is the only video you watch, man. I hope you, you know, you're able to take some of this nutrient, some of this pos, uh, 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 what is it, compost, garbage, <laughs> or you know, wonders that. I spewed out of my, you know, mouth this this evening, and you know, use it to your greatest possible um, desires. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't have another word. You don't know to your best benefit. That's all. That that's all I can. You know, that's the only thing that I can truly desire. That you know comes out of these videos is that. Somewhat, somebody somewhere is like, damn, bro, I haven't, I've been wanting to hear that shit for my whole fucking life. I'm glad I got it at 15, at 30, at 50, you know? Because some of us are very old souls. We're asking questions that are very old. And we've been asking that question through multiple lives. And we have not found somebody to give us the answer to that question. Or to, or, you know, some insight 
into understanding what question it is that we're asking or what it is that we're seeking. But yo, either than that, I'ma close it and y'all gonna have a great one. All right, y'all gonna make the best of your life and you're gonna continue to do the best that you can. Nothing more, nothing less. Cause yo, God is yo.